Hi, it's Zoe here with my latest social media shortcut and today's a little bit of a technical one but one that's absolutely crucial to all of you that are running WordPress blogs. If it's been through my training or listened to my social media shortcut, you'll know that I really love WordPress blogs. It's built as the center of our entire social media marketing hub and something happened last week that just put me into a complete tailspin. I had a message through on Twitter uh, that somebody had been to our site here at markandzoe.com and received an internal server error. Just thought I might like to know. Well, yes, I was very grateful, number one, for Twitter for giving me the message. I had a heads up really quickly that our site was down and expecting it was something with the hosting account we could fix really quickly. As it turned out, it was some sort of internal conflict things that happen with computers from time to time and it meant the entire content of our blog at markandzoe.com were gone could not be found, I couldn't access the server, I couldn't get into admin paddles, it was just horrible. So I got on the tech support guys and the first thing they said to me is, do you have a backup of your site? And I kind of thought I did and so that's what I'm going to show you today. I'm going to show you what most of you are doing, probably doing right now to make a backup if you're making one at all and why that's not enough, why it's so crucial that you back up not only the content on your site but your database for your site that has all of your structure in it as well. Okay, so I'm, I'm very happy to say markandzoe.com is, is up and alive and well, including all of the posts. But, you know, for most of us, we go straight into our WordPress blog, type our post into the blog and never really think about where's that going because we think it's safe on the blog. You know, I back up everything on my hard drive, but I hadn't backed up my blog effectively. What we needed to do, by the way, was go back to an older version and grabbed cache files from Google and it was way more messy than it needed to be and could have been disastrous. Okay, so in your WordPress admin back panel, back office, um, scroll down to the section that says Tools. Now many of you may already be doing this. If you click on Export, what you can do is WordPress itself will export a copy of your files, of your WordPress site. But bear in mind, when it says to do this, it actually says will contain, your export will contain your posts, pages, comments, custom fields, categories, and tags. Okay, and once you've downloaded the file, and I'm going to click to do that, you just choose which authors, in this case I'm going to do all authors, and download the export file. It will ask you where you want to save that, and it will come out as a downloaded file. I can open, I'm just going to save it, and I have one spot where I put all of those things as well. And I suggest you do that, and just save. Now while it's doing that, what it's doing is it's saving my content. So it's saving my posts and my categories and my comments, the actual words that have gone into the site. And that's really great and really important that you have that scheduled to be done at set amounts of time. But if I, and this is what I did before, I used that file and tried to put it back up on my site and I found I had lots of words but no structure. So what I encourage all of you to do is to install a plugin and do a backup of your database. Now this is so simple to do, I can't believe I didn't know about it before and hadn't done it. Go down to plugins and to add new if you haven't already added some sort of plugin to back up your database. And the, the plugin you're looking for is called WPDB but if you search on WP Database Backup that will very effectively find it for you and then search plugins. The one I'm looking for is this one here wp-db-backup and over on the right hand side click install. If you normally install plugins um, via your cPanel or FTB transfer that's fine do it but this is so simple you just click install now. and then beside Actions, Activate Plugin. So now you have the plugin and the facility in your site, what you need to do is use it. So go back down to Tools again. And you'll see now that you actually have a new link in there. Don't worry about, you know, the enabling gears and all these sorts of things that are happening there. They'll be fine. Just come down under Tools to Backup and click on that one. Now this will give you two options. It will give you the option of backing up right now and, and saving that backup, but it will also help you to schedule backups. So I suggest you do both. There's a number of tables here. There's things with um, different tables you may have set up from other plugins. 
all you really need I suggest excluding your spam comments you don't really want a backup of those um, I exclude post revisions as well so I don't have a big long list of every post I've ever changed it's really just what I want to get back up onto my site and your backup options are to save it to server now a lot of people do this I suggest you don't because the only backup I had was actually on my server remembering I had a server error I couldn't access it so if you're going to do that do one of the other options as well so if you've got something that's backing up to a server already that's great but do this option as well and you can download a computer or you can actually have it email your backup and that's what I'm going to do to my email address and backup now and that is actually backing up my database it's backing up my structure it's backing up my blogs my graphics my images my everything as well as exporting the file that had all the content and the words and you're going to need both of those things if you need to reconstruct your site now in terms of creating a brand new site from scratch you're also going to need um, some of your cPanel files your WordPress content themes and things like that so that's a little more technical I'd go with your tech support guys if you are looking to create an entire new site but this is if you have something go wrong with this site you can put it back up and it's like nothing ever happened it's just brilliant now once this has finished backing up what I'm going to do is take you down to the scheduling area and show you how to do this automatically once a week backup complete okay let's go down to the scheduling area this is the schedule backup it's down the bottom of that page and you see you can schedule it um, the frequency you want to come out I'm going to go once weekly I'd like to email the backup to my email address press schedule backup and it's done and so once a week I get an email with an attached file with my database backup on it I have set up a folder in my Outlook account where it's you know the WordPress database backups and I just slot the email across into that so I know if any given time if something goes wrong um, with any of my WordPress sites I have a backup that's at a maximum a week old you know I may have missed one or two posts at the very most for them but I certainly haven't lost months and months or possibly years and years of irreplaceable content so super super important be exporting a backup of your content from your WordPress through that tools function but download the database backup plugin and be backing up your database regularly for more social media marketing tips or more on how to run your own home business please come and visit at markandzoe.com have an awesome day